What's going on guys, Rob at 3 Strong. Today, I want to talk about metabolism. Metabolism, metabolism is kind of a complicated thing uh, because it's the input of food into our bodies. It's how our body utilizes that fuel. And if we put too much or too little, we can be gaining muscle, losing muscle, gaining fat, losing fat. And really what we want to do is have a good understanding of how to put in the right fuel into our body, how our body processes that fuel to really get the result that we want, whether we want to grow, whether we want to uh, reduce our body fat, and lean out, and maybe bring our body weight down. That's a complicated process. This little campfire here that I've drawn, the little scribbles on the board here, uh, is my little campfire and that's the best way to kind of get a basic understanding of how our metabolism works. Because really that's what's happening. We're putting logs into a fire. That fire is our metabolism, is our body. It's consuming those logs. It's burning through that fuel. And then we need to put another log in the fire, put another meal in our belly to fuel that fire. All right? Let me explain that in a little bit more detail, basic detail, with this campfire right here, all right? So we have a campfire, we have flames, those flames over time are going to consume, mm -hmm. consume those logs. And as those logs are burned up and used, guess what? These flames diminish as the logs diminish. So in proportion, to the consumption of logs, these flames come down as well. And there's a certain point where, oh man, before these things just turned into embers and it's just kind of a smoldering fire, we need to put more, more fuel into this fire. We need to put more food into our system. And guess what? Intensity comes up, those flames come back up, or our energy level comes back up. See the... Uh, See the correlation there? All right. And really, this is just the basic process. Okay, the flames are going down, put another log on the fire. The flames are going down, put another log on the fire. Although, there are different kinds of things that we can throw into this fire to burn up, right? Logs are nice and dense, such as whole foods, you know, crunchy fibrous vegetables, meats, some uh, fruits, those are things that are, going to, that, are, that are going to burn slowly and give us energy for a long period of time, plus it's going to make us feel fuller. Those are the kind of logs that we want to put on the fire. But what happens when we put, say, a piece of paper in there? We throw that piece of paper in the fire, whew, that gets burned up quickly. You're going, okay, well, let me put more paper in there. Let me put more paper in there. And you just keep on throwing paper into the fire. You, you're just overloading the, uh, the fire with all this paper, all this fuel, and it just burns right through it. Well, that would be your sugar. That would be any of your sweet, um, well, like I just said, sugary, starchy foods. And so, yeah, we can easily put that on the fire, but is that going to help chip away at any of this stuff? Maybe not. The fire's consuming it, and it's getting fuel, but it's going through that fuel quickly, and therefore we need to give it more fuel. But we want these things to last as long as possible. We want it to be dense. We want it to be rich. That is only going to come from your whole foods. This is a very basic understanding of how your metabolism works. But the real question I'm sure you're asking yourself is, how many logs do I need to put on my fire to keep it going? What's the least amount of logs that I need to put in? What are the number of calories or how many calories do I need to consume at a basic level even to maintain my weight? What if I want to lose weight? How many calories less, or how many calories do I need to consume every day? What if I want to build muscle? What if I want to gain weight? How many calories do I consume then? Well, 
Now we need to talk about numbers. In the next video, I'm going to talk about how to estimate your basic caloric needs based on your basal metabolic rate. All right? We have the pretty pictures in this video. Next time we're going to crunch the numbers. All right? Think about the campfire and how the campfire works. And that's almost exactly how your body works, burning through fuel. All right? See you next time.